Mr. President, you have often said that in the area of civil rights that the law should be applied equally in the North and in the South. And 10 days ago, the Supreme Court approved the mandatory use of busing to overcome racial segregation. Do you uh, endorse that decision? And do you believe that, that, that busing should be used as a technique to overcome racial segregation based on housing patterns in the North? Well, this problem involves uh, some very technical legal distinctions. I will not go into them in detail. I will, however, say this. Uh, I expressed views with regard to my opposition to busing for the purpose of achieving racial balance and in support of the neighborhood school in my statement of March of last year. Uh, I stated those views at that time with the preface that this was an area that the Supreme Court had not yet spoken on and that it was my responsibility, therefore, to speak on it and to give guidance to our executive agencies. Now that the Supreme Court has spoken on that issue, whatever I have said that is inconsistent with the Supreme Court's decision is now moot and irrelevant because everybody in this country, including the President of the United States, is under the law, or putting it another way, way nobody, including the President of the United States, is above the law as it is finally determined by the Supreme Court of the United States. Now, what is the law in this instance? The law is that where we have segregation in schools as a result of governmental action, in other words, de jure, that then busing can be used under certain circumstances to deal with that problem. And so we will comply with that situation and we will work with the southern school districts, not in a spirit of coercion, but one of cooperation, as we have during the past year, in which so much progress has been made in uh, getting rid of that kind of a system that we have had previously. Second, however, the court explicitly by dictums did not deal with the problem of de facto segregation uh, as it exists in the north and perhaps as it may eventually exist in the south. That matter, the court still has not decided on explicitly. It will probably have that opportunity because I noted a California case a couple of days ago from San Francisco, which said that busing would re be required to re deal with segregation, which was a result not of what a governmental body did, but as a result of housing patterns coming from individual decisions. Now, until the court does move in that field, I still will hold to my original positions of March that I do not believe that busing to achieve racial balance is in the interest of better education. Where it is de jure, we comply with the court. Where it is de facto, until the court speaks, that still remains my view.